Good morning. Hope you are well and welcome to Goggle Frogs. Um, I'm Angela and I'm here on my own today. Um, so Robert's at work, Claire's at work and thankfully Goggle Frogs is still going. Uh, normally five days a week. So for those of you who are new, we set this up. Oh, is this 15 or 16 weeks ago? Can't even remember when we went into lockdown uh, because we weren't going to be able to see our friends at our local knitting natters. So we set this up and hey ho, we're still going all this time later. So I don't know what it's like in your part of the world. Um, it's a little bit grey. It's a little bit blustery. It's a little bit rainy. It's a little bit stormy. And I love that I love the rain, I love the storm, so I'm really, really happy. Uh, but I'm pretty happy whatever the weather, as long as I'm not too, too hot. So lovely to see you here today. Um, it's Monday, um, and yeah, I'm trying to remember which episode it is. And what's really weird was that yesterday, we were actually programming in um, the 100th episode, the 99th episode, the 85th episode, which is with wine. Remember that one? Uh, so it will be in your, um, it, it will just appear. You'll get, as long as you've got your reminders coming through, it will just remind you 15 minutes before the show. Um, so lovely to see you. And let's see who's in the room. So I just want to say some lovely good mornings to people. Um, oh, thank you. It's episode 73. Can you believe it? Um, so, good morning, Trisha. Lovely to see you. Good morning, Safi. Lovely to see you too. Good morning, Marion. And good morning, Lindy. And good morning to Linda. Good morning, Judy. Good morning, Janet. Uh, good morning, Helen. Good morning, Georgie. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Dawn. And good morning, Brigitte. And we've got two very, very special events in the room, haven't we? So I want to say a huge, huge, huge good, mo uh, good morning and happy birthday. The yesterday for Deborah and a big, big, big Good, happy birthday for today, Dawn. So um, huge happy birthdays. And uh, yeah, you know what's coming in a minute, don't you? So we're going to be playing the music for you, which is lovely and only for you. But I think I'm going to leave that until after our normal music. Uh, but just wanted to say happy birthday to both of you. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've had a lovely birthday. Deborah and Dawn, I hope you're having a good birthday because that's today. Um, just because we're in lockdown, we can still put some, put a little bit of time towards ourselves, can't we? And just enjoy it. So um, here we go. Good morning, Goggle Frogs. I do try and remember my branded mug all the time. And I have to say, it keeps everything pretty warm as well. So because um, I'm, I'm used to having little china cups etc which do let the um the warmth go pretty quickly but they're actually really good so um i don't normally have clumpy mugs so for me to have a clumpy mug it must be pretty good um so yeah um so it's uh it's lovely to have you with us and birthdays are very very special aren't they and whether you want to hide away and do nothing, which is my norm, because I can't see the point in celebrating my own birthday. Um, and I don't know why. I'm not anti them. It's just, ugh, can't be bothered to get dressed up. Um, so that's me. But whatever you want to do on your birthday and your special day, you should be able to celebrate it exactly how you want to. So I hope there was plenty of tea, um, cake, um there was lots of pampering of yourself, maybe a little bit of yarn. And I know somebody got some very exciting yarn. So I think we'll have be having a look at that in the in the chat in a little while. So, uh, yeah, so I know there's lots and lots and lots of comments. There's lots of happy birthdays, etc., which is brilliant. And what I'm going to do now is play our morning music. I have no idea ever what Robert is going to um, find for us. Um, 
I did mention last night that something that might be quite nice to have is a little bit of ELO um, because that's a very, I always find most of their music really, really like happy, but I have no idea what he's got for us today. So let me play it for us. And without further ado, please enjoy. And if for any reason I pop off, that's only because uh, there's somebody in the other room who might have to ask me a question. So if that happens, I'll probably try and play the music again. Uh, but without further ado, here we go. Here's today's music. That is especially for Deborah for yesterday and for Dawn today. And uh, yes, I know that there's lots and lots and lots of words in the chat. Um, and just in case you're watching on replay, uh, you won't be able to see the chat box. So that's why I'll be reading some of it out for you. Um, and so let's have a look. So Brigitte says morning, Pete. Trisha says morning, Judy Fred says morning all, Lindy says morning everyone, Georgie says morning, kiss, 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 Dawn says good morning, working but listening on your birthday, um, hope everyone is okay, actually enjoying the cooler weather and so is Maisie, I know, it's so much nicer, to the point where I'm currently in a house where the central heating is on 24-7 and the last few days, we haven't had the heating on so um it's just gone back on today all right so um it will now be on 24 7 for the rest of the year probably but it has cooled down to the point where even i had to get under the quilts last night so um yeah it has really really cooled down but lovely 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 for dogs isn't it dogs and cats they're starting to feel normal again now um which is wonderful brigitte had said before you ask, it's 73. Thank you ever so much. I always find out what it is yesterday and then overnight I've forgotten. Um, Linda says, good morning, everyone, and a kiss there. Janet says, 73 and counting. I now have my stuff. How wonderful. That's wonderful. So, Janet, I'm glad, glad, glad you enjoyed getting your um, merch, merchandise. Um, some, was in, some was in the back of my car. Some was in Robert's home. Um, so, you've... Um, you've got everything so thank you ever so much and thank you to everybody for ordering from us i know people were saying all merchandise so we went and we looked and um we've been looking at other stuff as well so um that you know we, we will keep looking for what do we need to help our craft um so um yeah so i'm glad you got all of that um Safi says, good morning, lovelies, and a kiss. Lovely to see you, Safi. I still have this beautiful vision of all your pom-pom trees in your garden just to make people smile as they walk past. I think that's the sort of person you are as well, Safi, as well. Um, Deborah says, good morning, everyone. Um, Brigitte says, can we help Dawn blow out, blow out her candles on the birthday cake? I'm sure we can do. Deborah, happy birthday, Dawn. Um, and Dawn says, Deborah, thank you. Marion, good morning and happy birthday, yes, ladies. Um, yeah. Deborah says, thank you for the birthday wishes. You are more than welcome, Deborah. Um, it's lovely to see people having birthday. Um, Dawn says, I had my ce celebrations yesterday as everyone's working today. Team Dobbins made me a lovely homemade afternoon tea that must have been so lovely and so special um and i bet Maisie was excitedly waiting for a little bit of something <laughs> who is the most beautiful dog ever rather a big dog but so cute and very very sweet um sally says happy birthday dawn dawn says thank you she got this um and i'll show that in a little while I just go through the chat yes thank you angela plenty of all those things you mentioned yes i know i'd seen what you got deborah and we're going to see that in the goggle frogs chat i think which is brilliant um sally says love pericomo i have to confess whilst i know that song i would not have known who sang it so i'm glad <laughs> said by per pericomo 
Um, so lovely song. Uh, Dawn says, I love this song. That's brilliant. Um, Helen says, my mum loved Perry Como. Um, Sally says, wow, Dawn, that looks an amazing book. Brigitte says, we certainly have some magic mo moments in Goggle Frogs. We do, don't we? We try to. Well, no, we don't try to. It just happens because everybody's lovely. So that's what happens when you get lovely people just connecting and building a community, which is what we've got, isn't it? So um, it's all you guys, you know, what you do. So um, that's lovely. Um, Dawn says, love. Ah. Um, Dawn says, Sally, love Clara Parks. It's a book I've wanted for ages. My family does listen to me. Wow. What a fabulous 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 lady um yes so we will have a look at that book in a little while i wonder if it's the one that i listened to on audible i'm not too sure no it's not i i listened to something else um about clara parks um Bridita says i used to have a bit of a crush on marcello mass mastriani is that how you especially in the count of monte cristo I do actually remember that film. I've watched that several times and I do believe it's one of my favourite films from when I was younger. So I might have to hunt that out and watch that again. Um, so sorry that is such a bad pronunciation of Marcello, Ma Mastria, and oh, I don't know. Sorry, I can't get that one out. But you know who I, Mar Marcello M, the Count of Monte Cristo. And I do remember he was rather... Um, an attractive gentleman um yeah trisha says back again accidentally closed the window whilst looking at dawn's lovely prosy do you know what it, it's fine because there are times when me and robert have done that mistake and we're running this thing so suddenly it's just like ah oh, i hope i haven't cancelled the session um but hey ho um georgia says that was fab kiss 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 um safi says happy birthday ladies dawn says safi thank you and uh, Deborah says, got my goodies on Saturday and saved them for my birthday. I know. I, thank you so much. The picture was beautiful of your goodies. Um, Tracy says, morning, happy birthday. Safi says, oh, thanks, Angela. Yes, pom-poms. And I will eventually make some when I find my pom-pom maker, when I go back home eventually, which will be some point this week. Um, Deborah says, Safi, thank you. Brigitte says, Angela, you're too young to know Perry Como okay <laughs> so you're for something then um i don't actually know much about perry Como. i know the name i think my grandma used to listen to him or something she probably had an album one of those 33 lbs um but i don't know much else i'll have to have a little bit of um research marcello was on the poster one on the on the left top while the song was going oh right thank you I will have a look. Uh, that's very, very interesting. So what we're going to do now in true Goggle Frog style and fashion, and I know you're going to be waving and you're going to be cheering and clapping and you're going to be saying people's names and you may even try and blow the candles out. We're going to say a happy, happy birthday to Dawn and Deborah. And I'm going to make sure that my um, mic is off because you don't want to hear me singing at all but let's have a look at this now so um, I will and bear with me I've got, I've got to reset it Uh, the second was was a slightly different version, but I thought we have to play it twice to just say huge, huge, huge happy birthday to your ladies. Um, lovely to see you. 
Um, so Sally says happy birthday, Deborah. Janet says happy birthday and have fun. And Judy says happy birthday, Dawn and Deborah. It feels as though we have a party this morning. So thank you. And Dawn says Judy, thank you. So that's what we try and do, isn't it? So um, one of the funny things is when my partner in crime or partner in all things goggle frogs isn't here, it means I can work on my secret project. And from this, you won't have a clue what's happening. He certainly won't. And the other thing I know that Robert listens on in the car on his way home or on his way into work. So I'm using this now. It's um, I think it's called Spring Green. Is it? Um, Spring Green. So it's a Starcraft one. And I've um, yeah, I've done um a couple like this. So I've changed them from what I was doing and I'm much, much happier with these little cuter ones. So I'm going to be getting rid of all these that I hated. They were just too big. They were too ugly. I'll do something else with them. Um, so uh, this may this is going to be multicolored. Absolutely. But I think it's going to be beautiful um, when I finished it. And it's going to be all the final touches that make it really, really pop. Um, so I may even be doing a little trip out today um, just to see what we um, um, if I can get some of the little things that I want to the embellishments that I want. So secret project is back on. You know, I was working on a cardigan, my first ever crochet cardigan. I got to the sleeves. I looked at what it was. It told me how many I was supposed to have. And I said, you know what? I'm just putting this away. This needs real brains. In, first thing in the morning, you know, it's like if you can't fit, if you're not too sure of what a pattern means or how to do something, if I, I'll, I'll struggle over it. Then I'll go to bed, get up in the morning, look at it. And normally with a clear head, um, it's fine. Um, so I will have to have a look at that cardigan another time because I was pretty confused by the whole thing. So uh, never mind. <laughs> I'll go back to that at a later time. But the cardigan, cardigan just had me foxed around the sleeves and had to do a chain of 18 one side, 19 the other side. And then it told me I had to start knitting. I saw the number 77. I thought, well, I had 100 and odd. Where do I get rid of these 77? I have no idea. So, um, you know, it's like at some point I'll just go into the shop when I'm back down south and say, hey, um, spot sheep, can you please let me know how I'm supposed to do these sleeves or arms as I call them? So um, I'll get round to that eventually. But, yeah, I've swapped projects now and um, I picked this up again. And I have to say it's working really well now. Um, so I like how it's changed now. So I think this will um, get finished pretty quickly. And sometimes you've just got to put something down, haven't you, for a few days and then pick it back up as well. Um, so, yeah, that's um, that's what we're doing. So we've had birthdays. I'm doing something with this. And it does say, as I said, it is spring green, isn't it? Spring green. But I think this is more like a pale apple. You know, like sometimes you get a really lovely pale apple. Um, I think it's more like that, pale apple. Um, and I was looking, oh, I was looking at some lovely wools the other day. Mind you, they always look lovely on screen, don't they? They, The colours are always beautiful. Um, but I don't need any more yarn. I don't need any more yarn. I don't need any more yarn. But I do want more yarn. I do want more yarn. I do want more yarn. It's something that I always um, makes me chuckle because being in sales, most of my most of my um, adult career, yeah, being in sales, um, people never buy on what they want. It's sorry, what they need. It's always based on what they want. Uh, so I don't need any more yarn. None of us need any more yarn, but it's what we want, and that's why we go out and buy something. So. Um, it will be interesting if I do go into the local um, shop that's the only set up, it only opened just before lockdown. Um, it'll be interesting if I go in there, if I do actually buy any yarn. But maybe um, if I do buy an odd ball, it's only to see how it feels for a future project. Um, but we'll see because it's just about 100% Starcraft in there. So I think that's really quite nice when you can go somewhere 
can see absolutely everything in the range or just about everything in the range so um yeah we'll say we'll say um oh actually oh good morning rebecca lovely to see you um yeah um and um georgia said this is a gorgeous green it is lovely isn't it? it's just a really pale lovely green uh brigitte says want will win <laughs> every time it's not need it's want <laughs> um tracy says keep telling yourself that angela ha ha you always need more yarn well there's always a, a, a squishy corner for it isn't there um and sally says i wanted more needles did i get them no i didn't and it was when the um when the weather really changed i, I thought you know what i'm not going to go and get more um needles or anything like that because uh, it was really bad weather um and i thought i can't cope with queuing outside a shop when it's um force nine gale the rain's coming this way <laughs> it's bad enough my hair will go even curlier if it gets it's, if it gets damp um, but I'm going to go and have a look and see what they've got um, I've just got hundreds and hundreds maybe I'll do without the new needles now that I've got into this project because I've got the crochet hook um, you watch when I go into the car I'll probably find a whole pack of lots and lots and lots of different needles um, I did find a size 5 circular somewhere um, but I don't think I've got wool for a size 5 actually i have got one i've got one no i haven't i haven't they're all four and four and a half uh, so i'm not going to be able to to get um to use those that i've found unless i buy more yarn so i best keep on with this sub, um uh, secret project because it's well 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 overdue um so, but i'll tell you i you know me i will confess and will tell you what i buy and I'd be really proud if, I'm, if I say nothing. Uh, Deborah says, know that feeling, Angela. I so nearly bought some gorgeous yarn from Mothy and the Squid at Woolfest yesterday, but managed to resist. Wow, you did well, Deborah. You did so well, especially as it was your birthday as well. Um, not sure that oh, it all squashes down. I can't get the kids on my boxes. <laughs> oh, the lids on my boxes. Linda, I know that feeling. I have um, one box that's filled with lots and lots and lots of different yarns, and it's one of those big plastic boxes. And it had been in my husband's car's boots for oh, a good year, and eventually he brought it out because he needed to take something to the tip. Um, and it's it's in the garage, which is at the office that you can't get into because of my wool. All of my China tea tea services for my gluten free pop up afternoon teas. Um, my bike, I've got a Claude Butler bike in there. I have got vintage chairs in there. We just can't get in the office. So that's one of the things when I do get home, I think I need to really gut the place and be seriously, you don't need all of this. So I, I am going to have a little bit of a call. Um, so who knows what's going to be going. Last time I did that, I had a huge, 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 great uh, carry um, that bin liner full of stuff that I just got rid of. And there's some stuff in there that was really nice, like Galaxy Wall, but it's just not me. And I'd knitted one thing with it and I, I just didn't like it. So I gave it all to um, a, a very nice charity. Um, so it's all, it all went there ages ago. Um, uh, let's have a look. Um So this is good incentive to work on the secret project. Yes, I know it's um, but you just need to be. It just needs to work. I kept redoing the squares and I just didn't like them. They were too big and I couldn't see how it would work. So I've made them much smaller now and all's perfect. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, ah, Jason. Hello. It says video is down. Back now. Hurrah. G glad that you're with us, Jason. My secret, uh, no, no, you're not secret, but um, my buddy, my Belgian buddy. So we go to Belgium for lunch. So and we haven't been able to go to Belgium, Belgium for lunch for ages. So hopefully we'll be able to go one day again soon. Um, Rebecca says, put the yarn in the bath. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Um, I would quite happily do that. So we've got those. So secret project. Do you know what? I'm talking to, uh, well, 
I'm here to talk, aren't I? Uh, but let me know um, what you're working on. And we're going to be having a look at our Facebook in a minute. Uh, but what I wanted to do, first of all, is um, have a look at a little bit of inspiration. So um, I will share my screen and I will show you something that I just looked at this morning. And I remember when I was little, ponchos were all the rage. And I think we've lost a little bit of that poncho, haven't we? And I saw um, this and I thought, oh, so it's um, it's the hoot. Is it hoot? W-H-O-O-T dot com. And look at all these stunning, 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 very stunning, uber stunning. That that's look at that for the beach. Amazing. I love that one as well. Absolutely love that one. That's what I would call one that we used to have. I loved it for that one there. How amazing is that to go with jeans? I absolutely love that one. And there's more. I'm telling you, there is so much more on here. That one is beautiful in just those muted beiges and a little bit of cream or white. I think that is really unusual and very figure flattering as well. So I love that one. And then we've got this one, which is going back to what I would term the traditional. And I'm sorry, but my um, my screen is a little bit too big to show these because of that junk at the. Oh. oh, that's fine. I've got a little bit more room now. I thought it was an advert when I first went onto it. I just love this one, though. All of those beautiful colours and they're what I would term autumn winter colours rather than the, you know, the bright summer ones. So I love that and I love the fringing on it. Here's another one that is so classically 70s. Absolutely amazing 70s. So I hope you're liking some of these. That one, I thought, oh. That calls for, and I tell you what, first of all, I thought Noro. Noro would be beautiful in that. But um, something actually made me think, ah, I know something else that would be fabulous in that one. And that is um, Riot. And I thought of that one because A, I've got some at home. And B, because uh, Rebecca posted that she had some going spare as well in all greys. Um, but anything with um, quite a few different colour changes would be lovely. And that Raya is amazing colour changes um, and a fraction of the price of Nora. If you manage to do that in Nora, oh, that would be amazing. But it would be quite an investment. There are always investment pieces in Nora. Um, they're lovely. And this one, this one, this one, this one. So you can put it to the side. Or can you see? I think that's almost um, wedding esque. And when you go down, see, it's got that that um, circular starter at the center. You then go out. You will um, well. Then you do the neck. So if it's is that an off center circular something or other is the term. I can't think of the term, but I absolutely love that. Um, and I have actually got some cream hanging around in my garage. And I didn't know what to do with it. I had one of those big Aaron balls. Um, and I think it could be something like that because that is stunning. This one, how cute is that? And you could actually make something like this. So I'm just looking at these, these squares I'm never going to use. Um, but you could make them into some form of poncho um, if you wanted to. And you could use, you don't have to use the same square. You can make it like a multicolored rainbow one. There's more. That one's lovely. I just love the edging of orange. This is so festival-esque, isn't it? Uh, but there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds here. That that I think that's more like a little wrap on the cape. <clears throat> really really um neutral could wear that anywhere 
again this is a beautiful 70s style um, and there are just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds oh that's nice oh I like that one that's really chunky isn't it and I'll tell you something else I've just noticed this bobble stitch crochet blanket pattern video I am going to have to have a look at that that is beautiful I like that how many of us are going to have one of those in our bathrooms within the next month? <laughs> I was going to do that with pom poms. Oh, now that's nice, isn't it? <clears throat> that's also almost like what Claire was doing with all the different shades of grey in her blanket. Um, and that's finishing everything off with grey, but just having muted colours. And we've all got, you know, part balls of things left over from jumpers that we've um, knitted in the past or projects in the past so that's gorgeous I like that one Ooh. and I know I'm flying through these pretty quickly that is lovely and so different isn't it in the plain and then in the variegated yarn love that oh there's another color in it what else have we got oh a little bit of red mm, that's all right oh that's so cute that's so 60s i would say do you know what as well that that what would look lovely in that pattern is a tablecloth so if you put an extra one in the middle so there wasn't the neck i think that'd be beautiful as a tablecloth so you had what six six of those flowers around one in the middle a little bit of norm and then all of those little ones hanging over the edge of a round table clock table um I'm sorry I'm always thinking that would look lovely in my garden <coughs> my round table in my new sunken seating area that my husband's just almost finished which will be brilliant so there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads here what I'm going to do I'm going to take a copy of that <coughs> And put that into our goggle frogs for you. Oops. Here we go. I just put that in. No comments. So hopefully you like some of those. But I always think when I when I'm looking around and I come across something that I really really like, I want to. Um, let you uh, share it with you so um, let's have a quick look and see what's in the chat uh, uh, uh. Uh, so Lindy said going back to what we're saying about excess yarn a friend hides her excess yarn behind the bath panel <gasps> as well as she uses it to stuff her cushions Love the stitch patterns, but have never really got into punches. Oh my God, Linda. Lindy, sorry, that is hilarious. I never even thought you've given me an idea now. I'm sticking them in cushions, that's hilarious. Rebecca says, my riot is only in blacks and greys, but is free to a good home. Yeah, riot is beautiful. Deborah says, those are lovely, but I don't think my crochet skills are that advanced. I've never done one. I might do though um rebecca says bring it to sharing them for robert's charity stash buster ps i'd probably buy it then so marion may be buying it from you if it's at the stash buster um uh, rebecca says marion i need it gone long before then husband is on the warpath about the amount of yarn all over the place as i'm running out of hiding and storing places hmm. may have to start using um things like uh tea coffee jars you name it <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca, okay, can I have it please? And I'll either back you some money or make a donation to charity. And Jason says you could match the bathroom rug with one of those 70s dolls that hold toilet rolls. Ah, those disgusting things. They were oh god, they used to sit on the toilet, didn't they? And they must have been so unhygienic. <laughs> oh, Brigitte says, yeah, you could, but you shouldn't. Uh, they were always great things, weren't they? You looked and think so much work's gone into that, but to sit it in the toilet, it's just, what were we thinking of back then? Uh, so hilarious. Thank you for reminding me about those, Jason. Um, yeah, 
who knows so anyway now what, what i want to do is show some of your beautiful work so let's have a quick look so i've just put that on there about ponchos um and i know that some people look at the hoot or whoot i don't know how you pronounce it uh, but it's in there now so we've got a record of it now brigitte let's have a look at this so the real dress is done and if you don't know brigitte's husband is amazing with a sewing machine and he has been making this dress for Brigitte and he made I don't know the exact term but um like the mock dress the the undergarment just the practice dress which was so good that that is actually a dress um and this is the real one in the real um in the actual fabric and that is beautiful and if you want to know how to do hems seams stitches look at his work that is incredible absolutely incredible i love the color it is beautiful absolutely beautiful um so let's have a look at this the real dress is done i think rod did a really well keeping the pattern match as well as possible with an eight paneled pattern adapted to my shape and the side pockets are hardly visible i cannot see anything absolutely stunning the the amount of detail that goes into making a dress like that is incredible so well done rod if you're listening and if not Brigitte will let you know and I know that you're going to love wearing that Brigitte so fabulous oh. Oh. thank you Brigitte I'll share my screen now one second it's just taken a little while to share oh. that, there we go so this, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to talk about this again. So I'm going to share this properly again. So this is Brigitte's dress that Rod has made. The pockets are invisible. There are eight different panels that he has matched up. And if you look at that side paneling, and I'm sure that this is where a pocket is. That is incredible detail. Absolutely amazing work. Thank you ever so much for sharing that, Brigitte. I cannot wait to see you in it. Um, so I'm sure that when we all meet up again, we're going to see you in that as long as it's this year and not to, not too far away that it's in winter. Uh, Tricia has said, Flaming June, just back from this morning's exercise, murmuration hat finished too. Wow. Love that. Beautiful colours, aren't they? And I just love this detail that it's got the blue and the background colour as well, the main colour. So well done, Tricia, and lovely to see you in this sunny June that we're having. Because <laughs> I know it isn't all sunny, is it? Uh, we have this beautiful weather and then it goes. So let's have a look. OK. Oh. Georgie has shared this, free for a limited time, maybe one day more. Note that, that this is crochet filled, um, whoever Diana knits is. Um, it's gorgeous, use that cold, sweet Susanna. Um, and it's a, a lovely shawl. What else is on there? Oh, that's nice. Lots there. As with all these posts, there's a whole host of other things. Wow, that is gorgeous socks all sorts so you can have a look through that to your heart's content and if it's something that really inspires you then please do um, get your free copy if it is free still free uh, Brigitte second foot on the needles super watch 75 merino from a knit away knits up lovely love the colors and we had spoken about that one haven't we do you know what? I'm looking at this, Brigitte. I'm just going to ask this question. I've noticed that you've got all these different stitch markers. And I'm, I don't know whether they're different colours for any particular reason. Or if it's just how they've come out. But um, yeah, just, just wondered. Because I've never done socks. That's the only reason why I'm asking. Um, this is the uh, from Rebecca. Free to a good home. That's now gone to Marion. 
it was 300 grams of King Cole Riot Chunky in Blacks and Greys. Um, Riot is beautiful. Um, the colours are, are lovely. Um, so she's made a sweater and she had 100 grams in one ball and then the others was in three part balls. So bits that were left. Um, so that's how it knits up. Lovely. So well done, Marion. Um, and this is Deborah's. <clears throat> so her children are clubbed together to buy her traditional Gansey kit. Um, and I have this book on knitting Gansey from my husband as part of my birthday present. So let's have a look at this. Um, I was actually looking yesterday and it's five ply. It's Gansey fly, five ply. What a beautiful gift. Um, is that Flambra Marine? Guernsey five ply. Um, it's made in Yorkshire from 100% pure new British wool. Um, looks absolutely amazing. So you've got an, uh, um, an authentic Gansey knitting kit. Yeah, it was Flambra. Ah, it's just that um, I we used to spend a lot of time in Flambra. Um, my parents had um, were there uh, months and months of every year. So oh, I know Flambra so much. Um, knitting Gansey's beautiful book so fabulous oh thank you for sharing that what a special special present um that's lovely and a happy birthday Deborah um she's now on to other projects now that she's finished that beautiful pink cardigan absolutely stunning well done uh, Georgie top knitting advice you need to know when it comes to joining new yarn onto old so there we go um welcoming our new members which is lovely to see our new members um and what was this oh this was another pattern that was free wasn't it sorry that's another pattern that was free um that was that I did see something I'm trying to find. I'm sure that Deborah posted a lovely picture of her merchandise. I don't know where it is. Where's it gone? Um, have I missed it? But um, Deborah had put out her Goggle Frogs beautiful stuff. I'm just trying to find that. Oh, here it is. Here we go. So this is Deborah's Goggle Frogs goodies, which arrived yesterday, which was Saturday, very quickly. Um, left them to open till today as it was her birthday. So this was yesterday. Um, and I love the fact that you had the matching flowers in the background as well. So there's the mug, there's the, um, um, what do you call it? The book. And there's the, um, the bookmarker. <laughs> with all those little post-it notes on it and also the um, imperial and the metric rulers on either side so absolutely love them um love mine as well so it was lovely to see that happy birthday and glad you enjoyed them uh oh claire this was amazing yarn chicken uh, when you don't know if you've got enough yarn left look at that Claire has won at Yarn Chicken. That's the amount of yarn she had left at the end of her, um, what you call it? Um, I think that's, was that her corner to corner? I'm not sure if it was a corner to corner or another project. Uh, but yeah, that's all she had left. So well done, Claire. That's brilliant. Um, and is that everything? Yeah, so do have a look at that. I think. I think we have if there's something I haven't shown please let me know and then one thing that I do want to do is share the book that Dawn has got for her birthday so bear with me I've got so many comments today I'm just trying to find them ah here we go let's have a quick look Oh, a knitter's book of yarn. Let's have a look at this one. So not all yarns are alike and it happens far too often that we use the wrong type of yarn. Forget it, I'm not interested in your coupon. Uh, 
sometimes with disastrous results on these pages. Clara Parks uh, provides in-depth insight into a vast selection of yarns, giving you the inside stories behind the most common fiber types, preparation spins, and ply combinations used by large-scale manufacturers and importers, medium-sized companies, blah, 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 blah. That is amazing. Oh, so this is, this goes back to what um, Dawn was mentioning about chain yarn or spun yarn, is that right? Um, and what we use. So that is brilliant to um, know about that. Um, I don't think it's got many images inside, but uh, please let us know when you've got totally immersed in that. So Knitter's Book of Yarn will teach you everything you need to know about yarn, how it's made, who makes it, how it gets to you, and what it wants to become. And that is so important, isn't it? What it wants to become. I go by feel, drape, thickness, etc. Um, but knowing what that yarn wants to become is really important. So next time you pick up a skein, you won't have to wonder what to do with it. You'll know intuitively. So thank you ever so much for sharing that. Oh, so Clara Parks is American, but very interested in yarn across the world. Absolutely brilliant. So, um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think what it is that I've read of hers. Really, 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 really interesting. Maybe it was a podcast. I don't know, but I will um, double check. Um, have we seen Judy's shrub? Yes, we did show it before, I believe. Let me know. Um, Rebecca's current project is at the top. Don't think you showed it, so let me go back to the, that. Um, Sally's just posted two things. I will go back. <laughs> sunflowers from, were from one of her daughters, so Deborah, yeah, your sunflowers were beautiful. Brigitte says the sunflowers are fabulous. Um, and Deborah says, yes, Flamber and Marine. I wanted to buy one of those kits for a while. It will be a long term project, I think. It will definitely be on the size of those tiny, tiny, tiny needles. That will be a long term project, but it will be amazing and it will last for generations. Um, five ply wool with small needles. I found it quite hard on the hands, could only do a few rows at a time on the child size one I made years ago. Um, stitch markers just counting the rows so the socks end up the same size ah thank you I didn't know if you did different things at different points um, and then Safi said great hat and photo Trisha Georgie says your dress is beautiful Brigitte Roger's very talented he is Safi said beautiful dress um, Deborah said your dress is beautiful Brigitte clever hubby um, thumb up, thumbs up from Rebecca um, Lin Linda says Rod for next year, Rod for next year sewing bay. I think so, yes. And a bit about me, I hadn't shared my screen, so thank you, Brigitte. You sent me a Facebook messenger. Um, hey ho, there's always technical pictures on Goggle Frogs. <laughs> and I was really interested to see that Claire who won GBS. Great British Sewing Bee is also a keen knitter, especially vintage patterns. Check out her Instagram. Mm, interesting. Um, and Linda says, yes, I'm expecting that. Right. So let me go back to. I'm going to refresh. Facebook. Facebook sometimes doesn't seem to update. Ah, that's updated straight away now. Right, let me share this again and we can see some more beautiful stuff because we can't see enough, enough wool, patterns, um, items. Right, okay, let me go back to our Goggle Frogs page. Ah, oh, Sally started this a new project for a friend's daughter who is expecting next month. Oh, that is lovely. What a beautiful colour. Bonnie baby. Stunning. Lovely, lovely, lovely blue. Uh, can't wait to see that finished um, 
Sally as well. That is gorgeous. And Rebecca, oh, that's the, the riot. Can you see how it just changes everything so much? Um, that's Claire's. That's Brigitte's. Oh, Rebecca says what she's working on, knit a square. Squares need to be eight by eight inches. These donations are all five by five inches. I'm sewing them together to make cat blankets. Hope to have it finished very soon. What an amazing idea. And those little kitties will love that. Um, yeah, it's so hard, isn't it? Because sometimes people do squares and to be honest, this is an example of how squares can be so different. Um, yeah, and I know I like the second one for the project I'm doing. For other projects, I would like the other ones. Um, so they are lovely and there's some beautiful designs in there. Did you have some of those at the one here? Did you have that at Sheringham by any chance? I just thought I'd seen that that pattern or that combination of wool. Uh, let me have a look and make sure that I haven't missed anything else. I don't want to miss things. And I will go down and show, um, come on. Where was it? The shrug. We did love that, didn't we? Pearl the drag queen yeah we'll show pearl the drag the drag queen again we love that david and this was the shrug that judy did uh, no design plan as the squares were knitted from stash randomly a portable knitting taken to groups that were joined to a rectangle then a small seam made the arm opening um and again it's amazing what you can do ponchos or these little shrugs these wrap shrugs um amazing well done I love that. The colours are lovely, aren't they? And the fact that they're all so, so different. Like no two are, are those two are similar, but they're all so, so different. Um, so lovely. So I hope, have I shown everything? Please, 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 if anything has gone in in the last few seconds, let me know. Um, and... Deborah says, Lindy, yes, I'm expecting that. I might have missed it, but did you see my finished carding? Yes, we did, but do you know what? I'm going to show it again. Let me show that. There we go. Let me go down and find your card that it was in there. Never find know where it is exactly. It was here. Beautiful. You're beautiful. And just one button. Is that a pearl button on there? Um, but that detail, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, so Deborah is now on to other projects, um, Gansey being one of them, which I know is really, really difficult. So anybody who tackles a Gansey pattern, I absolutely take my hat off to you. Um, but they are beautiful when finished. So enjoy that um, and enjoy creating that stitch um, that has been there for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Ganseys are what um, fishermen sailors wear um so on boats and because it's natural wool and the fibers and it's on such tiny tiny needles they're really warm um and we've actually had talks on them when we've been to Sheringham because if there's a hole um or, or if this starts to fray they take it back and re-knit it uh, if there's a hole here they will redo that and they're very very tight quite small um and they're intended to be like that so they don't hold the water they're very very warm as well so um beautiful so enjoy your new projects and i'm sure there's a whole host of them that you're you're doing um so uh, rebecca says 
Angela, no, not at Sheringham. These squares were all showed the back of my little sitting room when we were currently cleaning through. I've contacted a local, sh local, sorry, local shelter and hope to send the blankets there. Have a load of knitting donations of a similar size. If not, I will send to Battersea. That's lovely. Um, and Deborah says, sorry, never, ever be sorry. I'd rather show something two, three, four, five times than miss something. So please do say, have this, has this been shown? Um, and Deborah says, I'm going to phone local yarn shop and see if they have the pattern. Mm. So that's lovely. And I love the fact that, you know, we all buy stuff off Amazon and online, but I think all of us do try, even if it's just the odd little um purchase we go to our local yarn shop don't we and try and support them and keep them going so we can keep being inspired oh do you know what my team must have gone cold now mm. it is cold but after chatting for an hour i think i needed that so without further ado it's nearly that time and i haven't even done a square I should have been able to do a square in an hour, but I've been I've been chatting, haven't I? And it's lovely to chat to you. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to finish this little secret project um, square now. And I've got a few more things to do. So I do hope you've got a beautiful day ahead of you. Whatever happens, I hope you've got lots of knitting due, um, lots of project crochet, lots of projects. Um, and spend lots and lots of time on you. And just before we go, um, another warm, warm happy birthday to Dawn and Deborah. So that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And then don't forget on Wednesday, it's 7.30 at night. So see you all soon. Um, love you all, Goggle Froggers, and see you soon. Bye. <laughs>